All right, I wanted to throw up a quick video here. Um, say I'm excited is probably an understatement here. Um, probably a better word is I'm stunned at how good everything came out. Um, I got the hood in place. That was my final test, you know, to make sure you see the hoods shoved back against the um, hood mount. My gaps are very good on both sides. Um, really um, impressed that <laughs> amazed. Everything passes the eye test. Looks good going down each side there. Um, door gaps, I put the doors in. I haven't put any time into gapping it yet. If you see, I'm a little tied up here and I'm a little open back here, but everything's square, you know. The, bottom gap is square um, I think time I shim this door out a little bit split the difference there won't be anything left to do there and this door over here um, I already shimmed it a little bit just messing with it last night might be a little gapish but you know this car's not going to SEMA. <laughs> it's uh it's gonna be tooled around town. By the way, this chipped paint right here is what started this whole project. Um the uh truck was a running truck, I was driving it around on occasion. Not a daily driver at that point in his life. All of a sudden this gap got real tight and I started getting uh, some creaking noises coming from up front and usually as door hinges wear out the gap will get um, wider at the top in this case the gap was getting tighter at the top and it turned out that the structure under the floor pan that the body mount mounts to had kind of collapsed the body mount had gone up into it and it sort of sag the middle of the truck and so if you see that you know it might be a sign of something more sinister underneath that's what I started was just to do that with the two floor pans and uh, and and the body mount structure under there and then I thought well while I'm in there I'll do that fender apron over there that never got replaced after the wreck I had and then I thought well I'll do the uh, back quarter panel and then you peel the onion and you get into it and in the end I probably should have just done a frame off on it but I had a question about the uh, square and everything up and I'll tell you how I did it and it apparently worked out pretty well I leveled that's where that level is sitting right there is a good straight edge to to level off of and it's part of the tub so um, and then when I put my core support in which is now hidden by this grill I leveled the core support to the the uh, windshield frame up there windshield support so it um, that got me right you know correct left to right and the only advice I could give if, if you were doing this from a damaged truck and you didn't really have a starting point to measure off of, I would make sure, and grab this body mount, I still have to put the body mounts on the front yet here, I would make sure that the bottom of your core support is at least the width of your uh, body mount off the frame and that's with all the rest of your body mounts being good if you've got sagging body mounts 
back through there I would replace all of them except the front ones and then make sure when you put your aprons in your inner aprons determine the height of your core support you know mock it up and make sure you've got at least that much and that's about an inch and I left myself a little short there of by about a quarter of an inch but I wound up um, you could then shim all the rest of your body mounts I just put a, another a second washer on all the rest of the body mounts and it gave me the inch I needed up front here so I'll use one washer here at the front like a, like it's designed and then all the rest of them I used a second washer and I actually used a washer that was a little thicker than the one that came in this kit so uh, it worked out really good um, and now everything gaps perfect see I could still swing the front end left or right if I need to because I haven't welded in those uh, body mount brackets yet but I really had to do very little movement to get it. I had to push it to the right, maybe a half inch, to make the hood line up just right. And now I'll crawl up under there with my with my headlamp on and um, place those uh, body mounts in position between the core support and the wheel tub. Mark them out real good, and then I can weld those up and um, I'll, I'll know everything is at least close enough to make up for any difference with shims if needed you know so that's where it's at it's, it's you know it looks looks good all sitting together of course it's all got to come back apart again so I can weld everything up permanent but it feels good just seeing it looking like a Bronco even though it's got three years worth of dust all over the parts um, it's, uh, it's looking good I'm gonna take those mirrors off when I do the body work on the doors I used to pull some stupid big boats with this thing I don't know how I never got in a wreck with it because at that time I had drum brakes all around and this little short wheelbase thing but um, I won't do any more big boat towing so I don't need those those big mirrors on there. I'm just going to put the little stock mirrors. In fact, you can see where the stock mirror was. That's how it, how it got left. So, anyway, throw this up on uh, YouTube just so everybody can see what it's looking like.